Good morning. I am Dr. Mahajabeen Fatima from Saga Institute of Research and Technology. Today I am going to take dad space threshold. So, we have already studied about the linearity linear system. Now I am taking zero drift. First I am taking zero drift or bias. So zero drift is actually also known as bias. Uh, this zero drift describes the effect where the zero reading of an instrument is modified by a change in the input. So take one example here the scale, this scale is uh, taken and this scale is actually prone to the bias. It is usually find that there is a reading of approximately one kg or sometimes two kg with no one stood on the scale. So if the input is not given but output is present, this is called zero drift or bias. It means without giving any input, there is some output is present. This is called bias or zero drift. This causes a constant error This that exists over the full range of the measurement of the instrument. So this zero drift is actually can be removed by the calibration. So uh, it can be easily removed. Now next is dead space or threshold. Actually uh, dead space is also called threshold. This is uh, the range of the input values over which there is no change in the output value. So you can see here, here on the x axis input is drawn and on the y axis output is drawn. Any instrument is considered and it is considered that the in this much input is given to that instrument and output is this much. So output is drawn here. So with the increase in the input, initially the output does not increase, but after a particular threshold, after a particular dead space, the output is going to increase slowly. So you can see uh, there is a range where the output does not changes from this point to this point. The output does not change with the increase or with the change in the input. So this space is called dead space. This much is called dead space. This is dead space. Or you can say uh, the output will be available to the instrument if it crosses the threshold. So the uh, instrument, if any instrument which exhibits the hysteresis, this also displays that dead zone, but it is not compulsory that, uh, that the uh, instrument must show hysteresis. If instrument does not show hysteresis, can still exhibit a dead space in their output characteristics. One example is taken here of the speedometer. You can see a speedometer which is used in the automobiles. This is having a threshold of about 20 kilometer per hour. You can see here in the speedometer when the accelerator accelerates in the automobile, but the speed is increasing slowly, but the speedometer does not show the reading unless and until the accelerator excels more than 20 km per hour. So 20 km per hour becomes the threshold of this speedometer. So all the instruments are having different thresholds, different dead space. So the minimum level of the input is known as the threshold of the instrument. So for an instrument with dead space, if the input is given gradually from zero, then it will reach to a certain minimum level before the change in the instrument output reading is of large enough magnitude to be detectable. So this is called threshold. Uh, the, all the instruments are having some threshold. If input is given to any instrument, if it crosses the threshold, then uh, the instrument starts showing some output. So this completes data space 